Hello, I'm your pharmacist for today and I'm going to explain to you the importance of medical adherence. So, what is adherence? Adherence is the degree to which a patient voluntarily integrates and collaborates with the healthcare provider. The patients collaborate by accepting the instructions given by the pharmacies or physicians regarding dosage, timing, and frequency of medication. They also get a refill of prescription whenever necessary. Adherence will eventually lead to a better therapeutic outcome in patients. The two components of medical adherence are compliance, which means consuming medication as instructed and persistent, the duration of time in which medication is consumed. Sticking to the medication routine means taking medications as prescribed with the right dose at the right time with the right way and the right frequency. There are three main factors for non-adherence among patients, which are patient-related factors, physician-related factors, and health system-related factors. Patient-related factors include inadequate health literacy and knowledge in patients. This occurs mostly in cases of asymptomatic diseases. Next is the patient's inadequate knowledge about the medical decision-making process. The social economic status of the patients also plays a role in non-adherence. This affiliates with the treatment costs which are often expensive and complicated for lower-income patients. Lack of communication between the patient and healthcare provider too causes non-adherence. Lastly, the lack of family support affects non-adherence as patients tend to feel alone and demotivated in the course period. On the other hand, Physician-related factors include prescribing complex medication regimes that may be beyond a patient's understanding. The lack of communication between physicians and other healthcare officials like pharmacists can cause conflict in the prescribing and dispensing process. Physicians' inadequate knowledge of a patient's disease background may be unaware of the side effects and difficulty faced after taking the medication that complicated their current health condition. Physicians who are unaware of their patient's financial burden will lead to prescribing medication that is expensive for the patient. Health system-related factors include fragmented healthcare system and insufficient interaction time between healthcare providers and patients. According to the Annals of Internal Medicine, 22-30% of prescriptions are never filled and approximately 50% of medications for chronic diseases are not taken as prescribed. And now to the big question. Why is medical adherence important? First and foremost, adherence prevents the worsening of any particular disease as adherence gets a certain disease under control to prevent increased medical costs or even death. Up next, adherence increases patient clinical outcomes as it improves patient's health in general that can help avoid medical complications. It is also proven that patients with chronic conditions who adhere to their medication have lower readmission rates. To improve adherence, we need to understand the root cause of non-adherence. Understanding the causes can add in the planning of appropriate interventions and interviews to bridge the gaps between patients and healthcare providers. Next, by increasing patient literacy and educating patients, patients can understand more about the underlying importance of adherence and compliance. Telemedicine is also a strong contender in spreading awareness regarding the importance of adherence and compliance in developing and developed countries. Educating, empowering and encouraging family members and supporters to involve themselves in the patient's medical journey can help the patients to stick to his or her prescribed routine. Patient-centric healthcare paradigms that involve mutual agreement on a regimen, also known as shared decision-making between a patient and the healthcare provider regardless of medication prescription or lifestyle modification. Poor adherence to medication regimens is among the most common problems that contributes to substantial worsening of disease, the increase in the healthcare costs, and also death. As a 
pharmacies, we need to be able to identify patients with poor adherence and the reasons behind their non-adherence. We also need to emphasize the value of a patient's regimen. To further ensure adherence, keeping a regimen simple or customizing the regimen to the patient's lifestyle can be done. When communicating with the patient, a pharmacist should not be judgmental about the patient's medication-taking behavior as this may help the patient in opening up completely to the pharmacist. As a conclusion, collaboration between pharmacists and patients is crucial in the augmentation of adherence because adherence requires cooperation and mutual understanding from both parties. Thank you for tuning in. See you in our next video.